Okay, well, one of the things about um, relativity is things which travel very close to the speed of light. For them, at this speed, time runs slowly. And this means uh, some strange things happen uh, that we can see on Earth, which don't you know, wouldn't really strike the uh, everyday person in the street as being something which is important, but they're nevertheless they're things which uh, demonstrate that Einstein was right. So over on this diagram here, um, whether you know it or not, it doesn't really matter. But uh, the Earth is constantly being bombarded with lots and lots and lots of cosmic rays and particles from the sun, and they stream through space very very close to the speed of light. So very close to the speed of light. And when they reach the Earth's atmosphere, they start to encounter the gases which are in our atmosphere. And there are some particles, and they're, they're interesting. They're called muons. And they get made in the upper atmosphere when these cosmic rays bash into atoms of gas. Now these muons are very, very um, strange because they, they don't hang around, they do something, they're called, uh, we, we say that they decay, and what that means is these particles um, are made in the upper atmosphere by these cosmic rays, uh, but they don't hang around for a long time, they uh, only have a very short lifetime, uh, fractions of a second, and then they turn into something else. So people down on the Earth's surface should never ever, ever, even at the speed that they're travelling at, should never ever encounter a muon at the Earth's surface because they should not actually get very far at all. But these little coloured bits here uh, on this diagram kind of represent the sort of range that uh, you know, maybe you'd, you'd expect these muons to get through the atmosphere and then you wouldn't expect any, you know, zero, none at all, if Einstein wasn't correct. Now. Unfortunately, that's not quite what happens. What we notice is that at high altitude, high up mountains, um, we see some of these muons streaming down through the atmosphere. And if Einstein was not correct, uh, we shouldn't see any of them getting down here. You know, they're going at a very high speed and they've got to go a fair old distance. Okay. And using our old key stage 3 formula like this, if you like, uh, the amount of time that they actually hang around for isn't long enough for them to make this journey. It's simply not long enough. However, that's not quite what happens. Because they're travelling so close to the speed of light that for them, they have much, much longer to actually make this journey. And to us, on Earth, we do indeed see some of these muons making it down to ground level. And the only explanation for that is that for muons, time runs slow uh, because um, they are travelling so close to the speed of light. Their velocity is very close to the speed of light. And an interesting fact uh, about this, uh, this is the large uh, diagram of the Large Hadron Collider, which is in CERN in Switzerland. This is built underground because they detect very, very, uh, they want to detect very, very, very accurately lots of particles that they themselves are experimenting on. And if they did it on the surface, they would be bombarded by lots and lots of these new ones which shouldn't have enough time to get through the Earth's atmosphere but do because they're going close to the speed of light and so they build the whole thing about a hundred meters under the ground and that really is all I wanted to just point out. We have cosmic rays which shouldn't reach the Earth's surface but they do for the simple reason that they are going at a much slower time rate, so to them they've got a much longer time to get down from the Earth's atmosphere down to the ground.